Welcome to Quality Dates. I am your host, Lily Vaughn Wilson, Housen Mousen. Today on our show, we have Sylvia, a motorcycle babe looking for her quality mate. Welcome to the show, Sylvia. So what do you look for in a quality man? Well, Lily, that is a really difficult question to answer. I mean, what is quality anyway? <laughs> You know, Sylvia, that is a good question. Let's meet the two bachelors we have selected for Sylvia today. Our first contender is John. When asked to describe himself in one word, John chose romantic. Welcome, John. Our next strapping young man is Bob. Bob was also asked to describe himself in a few words, and he chose to describe himself as classic. Nice to have you both here, gentlemen. We also have a little twist I should let you in on. These two do know each other and, in fact, are quite good friends. This should make for good TV, eh? All right. Now, Sylvia has made a list of a few important questions she has for you two before she decides who she will, she will choose as a quality man. Go ahead, Sylvia. They're all yours. Thanks, Lily. Okay, my first question is, what is your ideal Sunday like? John, why don't you answer first? I would say, uh... I always spend the day relaxing in my uh, cottage on the beach, maybe uh, watch the ocean, the beautiful ocean. I love that. Uh, uh, maybe some abstract painting in the afternoon. I don't really know, just whatever inspires me. So what about you, Bob? Um, I'm likely to catch up on some reading. Um, I, I'm rebuilding my house right now, so I have a lot of blueprints that I need to look over. Uh, to make sure the calculations are right before I continue building. Okay, thanks guys. Now, I know you two are friends, and I just want to know what you think are the other guys' faults. Sorry guys, had to do it. <laughs> to be honest, I, I think Bob's a little dull. Uh, just everything has to be measured and proved before he's satisfied. It's just so tedious, really. I just, I'm not into that, but... Uh, and he's not the most attractive guy either. <laughs> but uh, I do love the guy. He just seems to be this endless gray death force. Okay, le let me just cut in here. I may be dull, but at least I'm not frivolous, erratic, irrational, shallow, some drag on society. Okay, okay, great. Well, thank you guys. Great. Let's move on to something a little different, shall we? Let's do a little poll of the audience to see what they think of these two. Audience members, please type into your computer screen located on the back of the seat in front of you one word that you think best describes each of these men. Okay, time's up. The results are, John, the audience thinks you are hip. And Bob, you have been pegged as square. Well, let's get back to Sylvia. I'm sure she has a couple of more questions she's just dying to ask these boys. Okay, so as you know, I am a huge motorcycle fan, and I know that you guys both own motorcycles too. And I was just wondering what your favorite part of owning a motorcycle is. Riding it, of course. I just, I love the emotional high you get from it. I mean, what else would you get a motorcycle for but to ride it? I can answer that. To study and learn from it, John, I really love maintaining my motorcycle. I've read over that manual a million times. There's just so much rich underlying form that can be learned. Okay, now I want your total honest answers here. First appearances can be very important. Now I want to know, honestly, what you both thought when you first saw me. I was overwhelmed by your beauty. You really are stunning. Yeah, yes, you, you look good. I was really taken back by those hips. Uh, now there's a woman who can bear children. You've really got a functional body there. Okay, thanks guys. Now this is my last question for you. What is your goal for your life? I, I live every day in the moment. Just want to experience the emotion and the beauty of the world as it hits me. I don't let rules and technology bring me down. So uh, I intend to live my life like that until I die. My goal in life is to make everything that is unknown known. It's as simple as that, Sylvia. All right, boys. Well, I think Sylvia has a pretty good idea of what type of people you two are. John, the romantic, and Bob, the classic. It is now time to make your decision, Sylvia. Which of these two men is quality? I 
can't answer that. You know, I'm at a place in my life right now where I'm trying to find my own inner peace, and there are desirable parts of both John and Bob, and I just want the whole thing. So I choose to take them both home with me. There you have it, folks. Looks like we have a nice little triad here. Hopefully you can all find a quality ending together. Tune in next week for Geraldine, the 87-year-old 80, mountain climber who is still looking for her quality man.